Okay, after a little bit of work, I've got my audio files here finally put in. I have learned one thing. When you buy a cheap recorder, like any best, it is a good recorder. Here's the problem. It actually puts everything, even though it puts it, it claims it's a WAV file, it encodes it as PCM. It's taken me about well over an hour to figure that out. And then I had to use Audacity to take those and export them out as mp3 files. Once I did that, then they actually show up as the regular files that they are. You can see I've got five files here. I've got them all lined up. So again, it's just the same old thing. You can see I'm down here on this final, or this third track here, this AV track. And I'm going to right click this. I'm going to go down this end the timeline and hit that. And then we'll go and we'll see that our audio goes way out there to about 21 minutes and 42 seconds. And oh, and our video ends right there about uh, 15, 19, give or take. So what we got to do is set this audio up. Right in here, I think, is where I start talking on this one. But we'll listen and see here. Um, you may not hear it, I don't know, because of the headphones I have on. But I'll just listen here. Okay, sinking sound. Three, two, one. Hello again, YouTube. And then I start talking right there. So now what I need to do to match these up is kill the audio on that. And then I need to play this again and then play the audio on this line. So this is all quiet here. Again, I don't know if it's coming through here. Right here. I don't know. It must be further on down. So you see already here's about a minute's worth of audio right there that's wasted. And I'm going to try to sync these things up. Okay. Sinking sound. Three, two, one. Okay, yeah. So this little dot right here is the same one that I've got to match up with that. So, I'm going to go ahead and hit cut. Get that out of the way. And then I'm going to go here on this line. And make sure you always click on this. So you make sure you got the orange bars around it. That way you know that uh, that it's what you have in, in focus here and what you're going to affect. So soon I click it, I'll just take that. Now, this should be where I'm really going to start at, but just to play it safe. Hello again, YouTube. Okay, so that is definitely it. Let me do this so I can listen to this line. Hello again, YouTube. And sure enough, that's it. So what I will do is I'm going to cut both of these this time. So I'm not going to put the focus on either one. I'm just going to go like this. You see it cuts it all. I can hit that, I can hold down my shift key, click that one, bingo, and there we go. For this whole clip at least, my audio should be synced, and everything should be good. Now, you see I do not want the audio from this track here at all. So in order to hear, I'm going to kill that, and this way my audio will simply come from here, and my video from here. Now, let's go ahead, play a little bit of this. Hello again, YouTube. This is going to be my review of the tripod that I bought. I don't know, I guess a month or so ago I got it. Okay, so right now, i got to say, uh, again, I don't know if you can hear this or not, because, like I said, I'm doing this through a headphone and a microphone uh, attached to the headphone, so everything should sound pretty good. But on the files that I recorded on this little AnyBest, stereo recorder little 16 gig player recorder um, file right now sounds really crisp and clear and especially I mean I've got a cheap little mic that I used on it 
Um, it's a little bit windy today. I mean, not not bad at all, but uh, you know, just a little breeze here and there. But so far, I gotta say, it sounds pretty good. So we'll work through this a little bit. I'll get it up to where I can. Um, I'm going to show you where I'm going to do the other um, video files, how to how to intersect them, that kind of thing, and then we'll come back and and uh, I'll show you that, and, and then we'll move on a little bit. Okay, so I found a spot here, and you see I'm well, about a minute and 58 seconds or so in. I'm going to show you a few seconds of this, and then show you what I'm going to do. So I play a nice little 360 around it. Now right there, I let myself walk out of the scene. Now I need to take this part here. I'm going to put me a cut on this. And I'll play this. Basically till I come back here. I'll have to figure this out. see I'll get it to right there okay then we're gonna cut this and so I'm just gonna chop out this little piece of video because it's definitely not needed and then I'm gonna go up here and this is my first close-up video as I call it right here now I can play this okay so here is the fluid head itself so to get back to where it um, would make sense for where I would be originally is probably around there give or take because I want well actually I grabbed the wrong thing didn't I let's go back to this again and let's let's see so here is the fluid head itself. So I'm going to go ahead and, and I'm going to back this off some frames here to where I can sort of get this matched up, hopefully. Well, more frames than I thought. Let's see, I'm just going to move it back with this. I think about there. I think it moved a little bit back on me, didn't it? You see, it's kind of a precise thing and yet a guess at the same time. But about right there now, I'm going to start it right there. So what I'm going to do, see, I'm going to hit this as my mark endpoint. Let's see if you if you look that move that little orange head to that red line. So that's where the video is going to start. Now I can I can scrub through this until I can figure out. See I go all the way around it and get back. It's coming in. This is MVH 502AH. That is the head. Uh, very good feature of this is on two of these legs you see it's got these rubber mounted grips here it says Manfrotto right on them this one okay so I'm gonna go ahead and, and play through this so I'll sit and waste your time and uh, we'll get to the point what I'm gonna cut the thing in and put it where I, I need it to be so we'll be back here in just a second okay if you know if you look over here you can see I've got this almost down to the end so I'm gonna use almost the whole clip in this case and so all I got to do is go up here and hit this little mark out right here. And you see that move that little head to there. So now to get it right here into this little blank section where I want it, 
which is going to be about right there. Just make sure. All we got to do, well, all we got to do is hit this little arrow, and this will put it down to the timeline. In fact, you can see right there it says send or drag clip to the timeline. That's exactly what I want to do, so I'm just going to hit that. And there it is. Now you can see it has to render it because that is brand new video. And you can see it goes that far. And then, of course, I'm going to have to worry about my audio again and get that all matched up. But we'll let this render out, and I'll get that matched up since you've now seen how that's done. And then we'll pick it up from there. Okay, now, I don't know if you caught it, but I actually made one bad mistake. Amateurish mistake, but I shouldn't have made, but I did. When I had moved the audio, few, or I mean the video, from up here with the little arrow, drop down to the timeline, I actually still had this down here, which I still do. And so when I dropped this, it actually went down here, pushed all the audio out, and had this on this second line, of course. So I had to push it up, let it render all the way out, and of course had to move my, my audio track all the way down. Now, of course, the next thing to do, since it's a transition, is to just drag a little bit of a transition into this. And then, like I said, the audio, I'm sure, is going to be off a little bit. We'll have to figure that part out as we go along. But, so basically, you can see, there's where I'm walking out. And now I'm Let me do it with the proper... Right there, I'm, I'm back up here. And so I'll go through this part, and I'll make sure everything gets matched up. And then we'll move on to some more editing tips thereafter. So...